Hi, I am Dr. Arsalan Khan and in this lecture we are going to calculate the net ATP production by the complete oxidation of one glucose molecule. As we know that in aerobic aspiration one glucose molecule is completely oxidized undergoing through four steps. The first one was glycolysis, the second pyruvate oxidation, third Krebs cycle and fourth is electron transport chain and at the end of these mechanisms 36 ATPs are produced. So how these ATPs are produced and in which step how much ATPs are produced we are going to calculate in this lecture. As we have seen that in the first step glycolysis 4 ATPs are produced with the 2 NADH molecules. In this video first we will calculate the total number of ATPs produced then we will subtract the ATPs used during these mechanisms and then the net will be obtained. So first we are going to add the total number of ATPs produced. In glycolysis 4 ATPs are produced and 2 NADH molecules are produced. In pyruvate oxidation 2 NADH are produced. In Krebs cycle 6 molecules of NADH, 2 molecules of FADH2 and 2 molecules of GTP are produced. So these are the total number of energy produced. We know that the NADH molecules and FADH2 molecules they, these are storing the energy and this stored energy is released during the process of electron transport chain. So 1 NADH will produce 3 ATPs in electron transport chain and 1 FADH2 molecule will produce 2 ATPs during electron transport chain or we can say that these NADH molecules in the electron transport chain will produce 3 ATPs. So multiply by 3 these will produce 6 ATPs. Similarly each NADH molecule will produce 3 ATPs in electron transport chain. So total ATPs produced will be 6 ATPs. In case of Krebs cycle, if multiplied by 3, it will produce 18 ATPs. The FADH2 molecule will also produce 2 ATP in electron transport chain. So total ATPs will be 4 ATPs and GTP is equal to ATP. So 2 ATPs are produced here. Now we are going to add these ATPs produced in the respiration. The 4 ATPs in glycolysis, 6 ATPs in electron transport chain from the NADH molecules produced in the glycolysis, 6 ATPs of pyruvate oxidation, 18 ATPs of Krebs cycle from NADH molecules, 4 ATPs of Krebs cycle from FADH2 molecules and 2 ATPs due to GTP production. So all these if we add them 4, 6, 10, 16 and 18, 34, 4, 38 and 2, 40. So total ATPs produced here are 40 ATPs. Now the ATPs consumed during these reactions, the glycolysis used 2 ATPs. And during pyruvate oxidation, when the pyruvate molecule was entering from the cytosol to the mitochondria, each pyruvate consumed 1 ATP and, and there were 2 pyruvate molecules, so 2 ATPs were consumed during pyruvate oxidation. So 2 ATPs during glycolysis and 2 ATPs during pyruvate oxidation were consumed. So total ATPs produced were 40, ATPs consumed were 4 and the net is 36 ATPs. So these are the 36 ATPs which are produced by the complete oxidation of glucose molecule. So one glucose molecule after aerobic respiration produces 36 ATPs.